think the key to this ball game at this point, Don, has to be the blocking of the Saskatchewan offensive line. They've done a great job opening holes. Uh, Wayne Harris of the Calgary Stampede is the key to their defense. Has been a, a severely handicapped as, a, as on this field. Of course, his maneuverability is his long suit. We're going to see right now if Saskatchewan offensive line can get this very critical first down. Well, it appears George Reed has got it as the cross moves for 45. There's a timeout on the field with three minutes to play in the third quarter. The score is Calgary 12 and Saskatchewan 11. Did you say Wayne Harris read that play? I think he was ready. George Ray dropped for a loss, and it will now be third and 12. And that was the 20th carry by Reed, and he has gained a total of 45 yards. So that Calgary defense has pretty well pinned him up. Well, if Reed has carried 20 times, I think Wayne Harris has made 20 tackles. <laughs> of course, this Calgary defense over the course of the year has been the outstanding one in Canada, and the three best defensive teams in Canada remain in the running for the Great Cup. That ball is fumbled, recovered by John Seaman. But I believe the officials are going to rule it was dead at the spot that it was touched. And that was an unusual sequence of events with Ford almost having it blocked. Watch here, as Ford fumbles the ball as it snapped back to him. However, he does get the punt away. Siemens and one or two other Scott and Rough Riders are within that five-yard area, so the referees, uh, very rightly so, award the ball to the Calgary Stampede. Two minutes and 10 seconds remain in the third quarter. It's first down, Calgary. The ball is at the 29. And you can believe that the Calgary Stampeders are going to put that ball in the air. It's intercepted. And Bob Crockett is finally caught by Basil Bunch. Well, if, if the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are successful in winning this ball game, we're going to look back to a couple of plays. This is going to be one. Jerry Keeling has Herm Harrison, number 76, wide open on the sideline. However, he overthrows him by a good 10 yards and tosses right there. The other play, of course, is when Ford recovered his own punt just a moment ago. A 30-yard return on that interception. So from the 23, it's first and 10 Saskatchewan with now 135 remaining in the third quarter. Larry Robinson brings down George Wade. That will be very close to a first down. And this one will require a measurement. Ernie, we've received a number of telegrams uh, from fans across the country. Uh, some of them have been, have been rather humorous. Uh, one fan uh, pointed out that, uh, and reminded us, I guess, that the Omniplex vote is coming up in Edmonton on the 25th. Yeah, he says, uh, Edmontonian, sorry for you and the crew guarantee better conditions in 73. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, uh, if they do get that Omniplex in Edmonton, which the citizens vote on on the 25th, the Canadian Football League is almost guaranteed that the Grey Cup game will go to the new Dome Stadium in 73 or 74. That's the first down on that measurement for Saskatchewan. I think they will get Gary Lane, minus helmet. Also missed by one yard of getting a touchdown. Well, I'm not sure if he intended to hand this ball off to George Reed, number 34. Take a look for yourself. He reverse pivots out of that quarterback position, and Reed appears to be looking for a handoff. However, Lane keeps it himself, and he moves that ball down to the one-yard line. Almost lost his head as Forzani came in there and did a great job on him. A big break for Saskatchewan, a good play. <laughs> 